What's going on? Michael here with the Supreme Ecom family. Super excited to be back with you guys here at Supreme Ecom. We cover everything dropshipping related, brands, and everything on scaling online businesses. In today's video, I'm going to be solving one of the oldest problems of all dropshippers, and that is product research. Where do experts find their products? Where do I find my products? These are questions that I get asked all the time. This is always going to be super influential because it's the foundation of everything that we're doing is that product. Well, in this video, I'm actually going to be providing you guys some solutions of how to find products and ultimately how to help you guys find your winner for Q3. So let's jump on into it. Before I dive deep into it, as you guys all know, we give out a free consulting call every single week. And a winner of last week's video will be announced at the end of today's video. To win a consulting call, you have to do three simple tasks. One, smash that like button down below, follow Supreme Ecom IG, and comment the word winner down below. I'll be checking out all three of these things are done so that you can win your consulting call for next week's video. With no further ado, let's jump right on into it. So this is the first tool that I actually use. It's called AdSpy. It's one of our favorites here at Supreme Ecom. It's very, very powerful and it's great to use to find all your competitors' advertisements. If you're not too aware of what AdSpy is, it's actually a database that shows every single ad that is running never has ran on Facebook. So super important database. Now I will say it does have a little bit of a learning curve and takes a little bit while to get used to. But once you figure out how to search and how to use it, it's very, very powerful. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you one of the searches that I like to use in order to find current winning advertisements. So when you're coming in to AdSpot, you're actually gonna wanna add a couple of parameters in here. Some of the parameters that I like to add are media type, a video. I wanna find videos usually to first start to get people the most engaged. Also, I like to add in creative between. Creative between the last three weeks or so, I'll show you what's came out the last month. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. Okay, so what is this telling me? This shows me everything that's been a video and has been created in the last month. Now, I'm also gonna go ahead and filter by likes right here where it says date recent on top. This is gonna just filter everything by likes so I can find the most liked videos that have been coming out in the last couple weeks. It's very influential to find advertisements. As you see, these are all the advertisements that have been running. Um, and basically I can just know what products I need to look for, what products to avoid. Um, I wanna look into products that you know catch my eye or have that wow factor that definitely solve a problem as well. So that's kind of what I like to use AdSpy for. Um, it's a great database, um, very, very, very powerful. Um, it is a little bit expensive, uh, around $150 a month. Uh, we do have an affiliate program in the course uh, that gets you actually $50 off your first month. I do highly, highly encourage it. So if you are not in that blueprint, definitely go check out that Supreme Ecom Blueprint course. Uh, we can get that over to you guys as well um, by DMing us uh, Blueprint, and we'll take care of that and get that over to you. But you definitely don't wanna miss out on that value that's in that course. So the reason also why I like AdSpy is it allows you to see several competitors for each product if you know how to use it. Uh, now there is another database you can use as well. Um, it's called Ecom Hunt. So what Ecom Hunt does is it actually loads up trending products every once in a while that are popular. Uh, it puts it right on their feed. Um, now what I usually use this for is I come in here every couple of weeks and I check and I see what products are trending and what products are coming out right now. Once you have a product that catches your eye, you definitely want to look into it. For example, this car rack step. This is something that came out last year, so I'm already kind of aware of it and now I see it again. This is something you definitely want to look into. Now you do have to be a little bit cautious with Ecom Hunt. They're gonna have a lot of really cheap products on there. So it's really important that you know what to avoid and what to look for. Um, if something's too cheap, it's not gonna meet those price points. And it's not gonna help you break even much at all. So really look for a product, you know, at least above $25, $30. It's below that, I wouldn't even look into that. So that's one thing I have found out on Ecom Hunt is that it does show you some products that are, you know, are kind of cheap or not worth your time. Very important that you come in here and you check it uh, and you know what you're looking for. Additionally, you don't want to look at this every day. 
If you're looking at Ecom Hunt every day, it's not gonna change much. That's why I check on it every once to twice a month. Uh, and I cross-reference it with AdSpy to find the multiple competitors. Another thing with Ecom Hunt is they actually do not have several different competitors. Um, they only show you one competitor, which is okay. Um, when you look for copyright or you know what to look for, but it's not gonna show you all those competitors that like AdSpy is gonna, gonna show you. Um, definitely a lot cheaper than uh, the AdSpy route, um, just not as productive, obviously. So looking through here, uh, as you see, it's gonna show you a lot of products that are trending right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and look into, uh, let's do this foldable rack that I was mentioning I saw a couple years ago. So if you hit show me the money, it's actually gonna show you the exact copy the competitor is using, give you some features and benefits, uh, gives you the selling price as well as the cost of goods. These aren't always the most accurate. So sometimes you gotta go double check that. Um, but my favorite thing is it actually gives you a Facebook ad competitor. So if you come right here, uh, the, the Facebook ad section, you can actually click on this and you can see exactly what they're saying for their ad copy. Why that's important is because it allows you to use that same ad copy to find other competitors. Now, again, this is not something I use by itself. Um, I use it in conjunction with AdSpy. Um, this is definitely a, a powerful tool that you can also use. All right, so another tool that I like to use is actually a, a Chrome extension. So it's a Chrome extension that's gonna be used in conjunction with your Facebook profile. So I want you guys to go ahead and go to your Facebook profile and check this out. All right, so you see I'm right here on my Facebook. So I'm actually gonna go up here to this Chrome extension that I already downloaded. The Chrome extension is called My Ad Finder. Very, very powerful tool. What you're gonna wanna do is click on Show Only Ads. What this is gonna do, it's only gonna show ads on your feed. So it's called My Ad Finder. Um, it allows you to only see ads. And these are very important because these are ads that are being ran right now. So these aren't ads that you know have ran in the past, et cetera. So if you find something that's getting good engagement right here, um, then I would definitely recommend uh, looking into it some more. All right, so as you see, if I scroll down right here, I can see a whole bunch of different advertisements. I see this one just came out not too long ago. I would have to go check out the engagement. I'm seeing some more ads coming down, getting some pretty good engagement. So all these are products that I've been seeing around right about now. Uh, been on AdSpy as well. So this is all showing me products that are currently running um, and have you know active engagement. So this is something that you would definitely want to look into on your way coming down of this feed. Um, also, it's going to start collecting the ads. So as you see, it says 46 found right now. With that, I'm going to go ahead and hit collect ads or collected ads. This is actually going to take me to my ad finder Chrome extension right here. And I can scroll down and it'll show me all the ads that's collected for me. Um, it'll allow me to look at, you know, the engagement down below as well. Um, very powerful tool. Uh, I use this to find products all the time. The diamond in the rough is very important here. Obviously, I'm looking for products that, you know, aren't too big as well. This is very important. Uh, but these are all types of products that have came out in the past and look to see, seem like they're doing pretty good right now. So that's another powerful tool that I like to use. Uh, again, that's called My Ad Finder Chrome Extension. Uh, very, very cool extension that I definitely recommend you using. Um, another thing I'd like to show you guys is gonna be something very, very simple. It's called Amazon Movers and Shakers. So if you go to Google, type in Amazon Movers and Shakers, it'll actually take you to this exact page right here. So this is Amazon Movers and Shakers. It'll show you like the most uh, popular products in every single department. So you can kind of work your way down, you know, baby, click on beauty. We'll go with sports and outdoors. What's popular for sports and outdoors right now? Basically you want to look and see why product, what products are up here and why they're up here. So I'm seeing the sandproof, waterproof beach mat. That's something that I know I've trained in multiple times throughout the summer and it's up here as well. So that means that's probably something I should look into. Uh, it's just knowing like what products are coming out uh, and to get an overall uh, overall idea of you know what you should be pushing. So I'm seeing a lot of water bottles. I don't really recommend selling water bottles. They have a low price point. However, that's what I'm seeing popular. I'm gonna get an overall idea of what's coming out and what people are using. Uh, seeing some flashlights. I mean, if, do you know flashlights have trained in the past? You know, maybe that coincides with camping. I see a lot of pool related items. So overall, you know, a lot of pool related, a lot of camping items, so a lot of outdoors items. So some great ideas that I can go ahead and move into. Those are something that I can cross-reference with AdSpy. If I go back to AdSpy and search by flashlight or camping or, you know, pool, those type of things that I'm already seeing over here, I can start to see and find advertisements that are in that type of niche or down that route. And that's gonna be how I'm gonna find trending popular products 
that are running and having success right now is by using all these different searches that I'm showing you guys all together. Now, one of the last things I'd like for you guys to be using for product research is a tool that you might oftentimes overlook. This is gonna be optimizing your personal IG and Facebook feeds. I do this every single day. Anytime that I'm on IG, I'm usually engaging with some sort of advertisement. Is it because I like the product? Not always. Sometimes it's because I want my feed to be optimized. I wanna go down the route of those type of products. So be an engaged shopper. You know, go down that IG feed. When you see that product that you know interests you or you see that product in general, go ahead and go to the website, hit shop now. Go ahead and go to add it to cart, initiate checkout. You know, you can add in your payment information. These are things you can do and then back up all the way. Why you would do that? Because now it shows that you're an engaged shopper. So when people are targeting, you know, not, not only engaged shoppers, but targeting that exact interest that you've already interacted with, you're gonna start being shown more and more feeds, more and more products that are along that route. Um, it's a great, great tool. Um, and I definitely recommend sending it to like one singular person. So that way, whenever you go through that person's messages, DMs, you can see every single product you've sent back and forth. What can you do with this? Uh, again, you can go cross-reference this with my ad finder. You can cross-reference it with Ecom Hunt. But most importantly is you can cross-reference it with AdSpy. The same ad copy that they're using, you can go back to AdSpy, uh, so right here, and you can search by ad text. Now, when you search by ad text, I would do whatever ad text they're using um, with the seam between parameter. So seam between the last one month or so searching by whatever ad copy it is that you want to use. So that's how I would definitely use that. Um, so you can use your own personal feed is very, very important. It's a passive way to do product research um, from your couch, you know, from if you're on the go, uh, in your downtime, it's perfect way to do passive product research and to optimize your feed to find winning products. I found multiple winning products that way. Um, it's worked out very, very beneficial for me for absolutely free. So don't overlook that. So those are my top ways to find winning products. Let me run those by you one more time. So first, I took you to AdSpy. Within AdSpy, you want, you want to do a couple different searches. You would definitely want to be creative with it. You know, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, but it's going to show you every advertisement that is or ever has been running on Facebook. So very, very powerful. Next, I took you to Ecom Hunt. Again, you gotta be a little cautious with Ecom Hunt because they're gonna give you a lot of products but you have to know what to look for. Filter through that diamond in the rough, you know what I'm saying? Next, you can go to get a Chrome extension. I did my Ads Finder. There's several different Chrome extensions you can use, uh, but my Ads Finder is one that I like to use uh, pretty often. What it does is it optimizes your exact Facebook feed so you only see Facebook ads. And those are ads that are currently running right now. You can also go to the collected ads section and go to every ad that's collected for you to see all the ads in one singular hub, which is very, very powerful. Also, I took you guys to Amazon's movers and shakers. Why? Because you can go to several different categories here on the left panel and you can find products in that niche that are trending right now. These are products you can cross-reference and look up and get an idea of what products are trending in the market. It's a very, very powerful tool. Last but not least, I told you guys about that passive way to optimize your IG and Facebook feed by simply engaging with those advertisements and as well as sharing them to you know a family member or a friend, get them in that one DM all in one singular hub. These are all ways that I'm constantly doing product research. I'm not trying to force product research. I do all of this passively every single day so that way products come, come to me. Uh, when products come to you and they clearly have a blatant trend are getting solid engagement, it's a no-brainer whether that's gonna be a winner or not for you. And now that you guys have a ton of options you guys can go ahead and use, I encourage you guys to use all of them. Go out to the market and look for as many products as possible that fully validate, that fully give you that good trend that have great engagement using these exact resources that I just showed you. Or in case you feel like you need a little bit more help, definitely check out right here where Alex just dropped his list of August products that you should sell right now. And don't think I forgot about the consulting call winner. The consulting call winner from last week's video is Raphael Harper, congratulations. So go ahead and DM us at Supreme Ecom IG and we'll reach out to you and get all those questions answered about e-commerce or building your own online brand. Well, as you know, it's Q3 and as always, e-commerce is still ramping up. We have just a few more spots that we're gonna be opening up here in the month of August for our case study slash mentorship. So if you're looking to be your own boss, 
and make money selling products just like some of the ones I helped you find today, definitely DM us at Supreme Ecom, the word winner, or apply directly at SupremeEcomMentorship.com for these exclusive spots that we have in August, and we'll reach out to you and see if you're a good fit. Well, it's a pleasure being with you guys today. It was so fun. I'm glad I'm able to help you guys out with several different ways to find different products. This is Michael, and I'm out.